Introducing the Prelude Sync, a personal, effective, and comfortable radial compression device that assists in achieving vascular hemostasis. It has a comfortable band with a large, clear window for sight visibility. The Prelude Sync personalizes the patient's recovery experience with an exciting, random assortment of designs provided in each box. Step 1. Ensure the site is clean and dry. For radial artery use, ensure the curved section of the clear plate is on the thumb side of the wrist. Step 2. Place the center of the crosshairs over the arteriotomy, location where the sheath entered the artery, approximately 1 to 2 millimeters proximal to the skin puncture site. Fasten the band securely around the wrist without any slack, ensuring the band neither shifts or rotates. The band is too loose if a finger can fit underneath. Step 3. Fill the Prelude Sync syringe included with the band with 20 milliliters of air. Attach and completely engage the Prelude Sync syringe to the tubing line labeled air. If you are using the specialized lure option, make sure you engage the check valve by fully inserting the syringe into the specialized connection. Slowly inflate the bulb with air while simultaneously removing the sheath. Once the sheath is completely removed, continue to inject air into the bulb until bleeding has stopped. While inflating, maintain pressure on the syringe plunger to avoid any inadvertent release of air. Step 4. Slowly withdraw air from the bulb until there is oozing from the access site. Once oozing is observed, re-inject up to 4 milliliters of air into the bulb until hemostasis is achieved. Remove the syringe. Please note, Air volume and compression time may differ according to patient's condition, anticoagulant dosage, and size of puncture site. Optional device chart stickers are included to facilitate recording the time of inflation and milliliters, as well as the time of deflation and milliliters removed. Device Removal Step 1. At the recommended device removal time, withdraw 2 milliliters of air from the prelude sink and observe the access site for bleeding. If bleeding is present, Inject air until bleeding stops. Wait 30 minutes and repeat step one of the device removal instructions. If no bleeding is present, continue to remove two milliliters of air every 15 minutes times three, or until pressure is fully released. Step two. Once the air is removed and hemostasis is confirmed, carefully remove the prelude sink and place a sterile dressing per hospital protocol.